Welcome to St. Peter's School and thank you for taking the time to join us on this video tour. Life has never been so full of opportunities, but with challenge and change ever present, our aim here is to develop confident, rounded young men and women who make the most of their abilities in preparation for a successful, fulfilled life. Founded in 627 AD, St. Peter's is the fourth oldest school in the world and one of the country's leading schools. Our academic results are outstanding, but we believe that independent thinking and a love of learning are just as important as excellent grades. So here there is a real focus on developing intellectual curiosity in the classroom and beyond, with pupils and staff being members of a vibrant learning community. The achievement of academic potential is central, but an education based only on qualifications is limited and frankly, rather dull. School days should be full of fun, adventure, challenge and new experiences. So we offer a huge range of sporting, artistic and cultural opportunities because we want our pupils to establish interests that stay with them for life, as well as learn the skills that will make them stand out in a fast-changing world. There is something for everyone at St Peter's with high levels of participation, offering opportunity for the specialist as well as the all-rounder. Your senior education years are amongst the most exciting and rewarding of your time at school. It's a wonderful age when you start to develop particular interests and specialisms before stepping over the threshold into adult life and all that lies ahead. So whether you join us aged 11, 13, 14 or 16, you will find increasing areas of opportunity, whether in the classroom, through academic extension or in the huge co-curricular programme. It's a great time for developing your sense of personal responsibility and taking on leadership alongside working in teams. It can also be a challenging time and support is here for you and your family all the way through and after your time at St Peter's. Peterites are confident but also grounded and it's their enthusiasm that brings a spark and enjoyment to each day. All pupils are cared for as individuals and links between home and school are a source of pride which continues long after school days are over through our active alumni organisation, the Old Peterites. On this tour, you'll see that our beautiful campus brings the calm which comes from a countryside setting while we're just a few minutes from the heart of York. York is one of the best cities in the country in which to spend your school years and our links to the Minster and partnerships with local schools, universities and other organisations brings a richness to the experience of being a Peterite. Together, this gives a strong sense of being part of a modern, dynamic community where we walk, as our motto says, over ancient ways and ensure that each generation is equipped with the keys for life. Do enjoy this tour of the school where Mr Andy Faulkner will show you St Peter's 8 to 13 for those of you thinking about joining us in Year 7. Two of our upper sixth form pupils, Tom and Hope, will introduce you to St Peter's 13 to 18 so that you can see how our education moves into the older years, whether you're continuing through the school or considering joining us in third or fourth form, as we call Years 9 and 10. There's another film for those of you interested in the sixth form, so please look out for that on our website. Our tours aim to show you how our school structure enables us to give a tailor-made experience for every year group, while giving access to the facilities of the whole school and a strong sense of belonging to the St Peter's family. I hope to be able to welcome you in person very soon. Welcome to St Peter's 8-13. to My name is Andy Falconer and I'm the head of the middle part of St Peter's School where we look after 400 8 to 13 year olds in years 4 to 8. We are located on the lower part of the 47 acre campus in what used to be the Queen Anne School. We are also the choir school for York Minster. Our five year groups are called J1 to J5 and one of the things that makes us different from many schools in the area is that our J1 to 3s, so year 4 to 6 children, are taught by subject specialists for about two-thirds of their week. This allows them access to specialist facilities and teaching from eight years old. Our eight learning habits underpin the skills that we are developing in the children. By helping the children develop these learning habits, we are equipping them with the skills that will help them both within and out with school, now and into their futures. The other area that is key to our education is encouraging the children to develop a growth mindset. Understanding that we can all get better at everything, no matter what level we currently are at. We don't say, I can't do this, we say, I can't do this yet. In the Shepherd Hall, every class has a weekly drama lesson. 
and we also offer Lambda classes as part of our co-curricular programme. We have termly music concerts in the evening, where our ensembles have a chance to perform in front of family and friends. I also take a weekly Heads Assembly here on Friday mornings. We are so fortunate to have a wonderful library space with over 10,000 books and overseen by a full-time librarian. Each class spends one lesson a week in the library, and they can also come in at break and lunch times if they just want to curl up with a book. Having specialist science teachers and two well-equipped science labs means the children can take part in a wide variety of experiments. Our life skills programme includes things such as learning to cook, how to save a life using CPR, bushcraft skills and team building. There are also after-school cookery clubs which are always very popular. Computing isn't just about learning how to use software applications, although we do make sure the children are confident in their use of the standard office software. It's also about creating and solving problems, and so half of our IT curriculum is devoted to coding and programming. Every child has a double design technology lesson each week, as well as their double art lesson, as we believe that nurturing creativity is so important. This is one of our two art studios, where the children have the chance to develop skills in drawing, painting, working with fabric and textiles, as well as ceramics. Having dedicated spaces outside of the classroom really helps the children to develop their artistic creativity. The music life of the school is something you can hear everywhere, with lessons taking place in dedicated music rooms such as our new music pods. We have over 250 individual music lessons taking place each week, with a huge variety of instruments, including the oboe, French horn, drums, the harp, piano, violin, and flute. We have weekly lunchtime concerts. Each term, there's a big evening concert, which gives our larger ensembles a chance to perform. We are the choir school to York Minster, which means that the Minster choristers are all here at school and have their morning rehearsals before singing an evensong later in the day. Our games programme includes rugby, hockey, cricket and tennis for the boys, and hockey, netball, tennis, rounders and cricket for the girls. We travel all over the North East to play in competitive fixtures against other schools. There is also the opportunity to go on a UK-based sports tour in J2 and an overseas one in J5, along with our annual ski trip, usually to Italy. In our P lessons, the children will cover activities such as swimming, volleyball, gymnastics, dance, badminton and football. We are so fortunate to have our own 25 metre pool here on campus, allowing us to teach all our children to be confident swimmers. Our house system is central to our pastoral care. All staff and teachers are allocated to one of our five houses. It allows the children to get to know and recognise children in different year groups, making the school seem much smaller. Each teacher looks after a group of 14 children, some from every year group, and will be their mentor for however long that child is in the school. School lunches are homemade by our in-house catering team. There is always a choice of hot options, a hot dessert, as well as soup, sandwiches, salad bar, and yogurt and fresh fruit. The teachers sit and eat lunch with their house so they get to know the children better. Thank you for looking around St Peter's 8 to 13 with me, even though it has been a virtual experience. The one thing you probably won't pick up on through this medium is the vibrancy and sense of fun and energy that the children have, and the way they enjoy their learning and support each other in it. I hope to be able to welcome you to our school in the near future so you can experience this unique learning environment for yourself. I'm now going to hand you over to two of our upper sixth pupils who are going to take you around St Peter's 13 to 18. Hi, I'm Hope. And I'm Tom. And today we are going to show you around the senior section of our school. Pupils join this section of St Peter's in year nine. The majority of them move up from the 8 to 13 section of the school but we also have plenty of brand new starters in year 9 and 10. This space is known as the monkey cage. You will find lots of useful information on the notice boards, such as sports fixtures and information about co-curricular activities, including debating, combined cadet force and much more. There are over 80 different co-curricular activities available at St Peter's, so there really is something for everyone. The Memorial Hall is at the heart of St Peter's. We usually gather here for assemblies, and the Memorial Hall is also used as a performance space throughout the year. We regularly put on school plays and music festivals, 
including our annual cabaret performance. Our public lecture series is also hosted in this wonderful space. Chapel is an important part of school life. We gather here for three services during the week, offering a chance for the whole school to come together and reflect. The school choir, chapel choir and chamber choir also gather here for rehearsals. The library is a wonderful place, whether you are reading for study or leisure. You can request any books you like and Mrs Wong, our librarian, is always available to help. Music and drama are popular academic subjects at St Peter's, as well as offering lots of co-curricular opportunities. The music department is one of the largest and most diverse music schools in the whole country. We have incredible resources, including practice rooms, recording studios, several grand pianos, and even a harpsichord. Whether you want to achieve a diploma on your instrument of choice, or simply join the school choir, everyone is encouraged to participate in music at St Peter's. Our school drama productions are legendary, with hundreds of pupils getting involved as cast and crew. As well as these, there are lots of other opportunities to perform in smaller plays and through Lambda classes. This is the Queen's Building at the heart of the St Peter's campus. It is home to Queen's House and lots of classrooms, including our English department. From here, we have an excellent view of our amazing sports facilities, including the gym, netball courts, swimming pool and cricket pitch. We focus on core sports of rugby, hockey, tennis, cricket and netball, and rowing is always a popular choice. We've just opened a new boathouse on the River Ouse, adding to the outstanding facilities, including dozens of pitches, swimming pool, gym and sports halls, all right here on our 47-acre campus. Sport is for everyone here, whatever their level, whether you are a complete beginner or competing at an elite level. Next to the swimming pool is the art department, where you will find lots of fantastic facilities, including a drawing and painting studio, a printmaking studio, a dark room and a ceramic studio. We even have our own Whitestone Gallery, where we host regular exhibitions of people's artwork. The sciences are very popular subjects at St Peter's, and we have our own fully equipped science block and well-equipped chemistry and biology labs, telescopes and even a cloud chamber. We also host a popular stargazing evening each year in February and an annual Christmas science lecture. The careers department supports all pupils to find their own pathway and prepare for life after St Peter's. This area of school also includes the listening space, a quiet room where you can talk to one of the listening team about any worries you might have during your time at school. Welcome to the Pascal Building, home to maths and modern foreign languages. It's a brand new building which opened in November 2019 with lots of light and airy classrooms. Two of our day houses, Clifton and Grove, are behind the Pascal building. The house system is central to life at St Peter's. Everyone belongs to one of the 10 houses, where you will make friends for life. Being part of a house is so much more than just having a place to go. We have lots of house events from cross country to sports day, from swimming to the popular house sing. These events are always great fun with lots of friendly competition. This is The Rise, one of two girls' boarding houses. There are two boys' boarding houses too. The boarders have made their own films for you to watch, but as a boarder myself, I can tell you that it is a fantastic way to make the most out of everything St Peter's has to offer, and also make friends for life. Small groups of younger pupils share rooms, while sick formers tend to have one roommate or a single room. There is plenty of communal space in every house, including gardens, lounges, and study spaces. You can always make yourself a snack in the kitchen too. Boarders can choose to spend their free time taking part in organised activities or doing our own thing. We love popping into York. The city centre is just 10 minutes walk away. The last stop on our tour is the dining hall, where lunch is served every day. There are always several options to choose from, with delicious, hot and cold meals served fresh from the kitchen. Boarders can also enjoy dinner in the dining hall, as well as the famous Boarders Brunch. You can watch our boarding videos to find out more about boarding at St Peter's School. We hope you have enjoyed the virtual tour of St Peter's. We'd love to welcome you to our school in person one day.